Welcome to Dataflow Diagrams Simply Put. I'm Tom Hathaway, co-author of this course. An old Chinese proverb says, a picture is worth a thousand words. In the world of information technology, or IT, we maintain that it may even be worth a whole lot more. For most people, it's difficult or impossible to envision a process flow, especially when someone else is describing it. In the late 1970s, a concept called data flow diagramming became popular as a way to draw a diagram or a picture of process interactions and the data created and consumed by each step. This phenomenally simple tool allowed people to visualize their workflow for the first time. Suddenly, disconnects and discrepancies that they had difficulty describing jumped out of the picture at them. It all seems so obvious when you have a simple diagram to analyze. My partner Angela and I designed this course to give business analysts, systems analysts, product owners, product managers, subject matter experts, aka SMEs, and really anyone wearing the BA hat, a simple step-by-step -step approach for creating and using data flow diagrams. Regardless of your job title or role, if you're involved in defining future business solutions with an IT component, this course will empower you to give other people the ability to see how their workflows and business processes work and where they need improvement. In detail, this course explains and demonstrates the answers to these questions. What is the data flow diagram and what does it do for you? What's the difference between a rigorous physical process model and a context-level DFD. What symbols can I use on each type of diagram? What is the business value of exploding or leveling a DFD? What's a simple approach for drilling down into a process? How can I show the internal processes and flows that produce the results? What does balancing a data flow diagram mean? And what is the business value? What is the most efficient approach to balancing a DFD? How can I express detailed specifications for processes and data? What business value do detailed process specifications offer? What is metadata and why do I need it? What does a fully balanced DFD look like? What value does a DFD fragment provide? And ultimately, why should I draw a data flow diagram? This course explains what a data flow diagram or DFD is, why you need one, how to create it, and how to use it to minimize the risk of project failure. Using a business scenario, the course demonstrates how to get started with a rigorous physical process model or RPPM, converting the RPPM to a context DFD, and then exploding the context DFD to a detailed data flow diagram. You'll learn the benefits of process visualization for the business community, for the one wearing the BA hat, for those tasked with developing the solution, and ultimately, for the entire organization. You'll also discover how powerful DFDs are as tools for recognizing and eliminating two of the major problems that haunt IT projects, namely scope creep and project overruns caused by late project change requests. Drawing a picture of how a business process creates and consumes data identifies critical functional, informational, and quality, aka non-functional, requirements. Dataflow diagrams present that picture. In Module 1, Introducing Dataflow Diagrams, or DFDs, for the business, we introduce the course, explain what a DFD is, which symbols are allowed, and what each symbol means. You'll learn why a good DFD is such a phenomenal baseline for identifying problems and defining the business and stakeholder requirements for any IT undertaking. By the way, for an explanation of why the BA hat looks like a magic hat, view our free knowledge nugget an overview of business analysis for information technology. Meantime, enjoy this course.